Hi, I'm Andrew Longstow, a bioinformatician based in Melbourne, Australia. I'm here today to call for contributors to the program FastQE, which combines bioinformatics with emoji. Despite this title, I really like the project FastQE, and hopefully by the end of this talk, you'll like it too, enough that you'll contribute. FastQE is installed as a command line program, and if we do dash dash up, we can see that it gives a pretty good indication of what it does. So FastQE takes one or more FastQ files, computes the quality stats for each file, and then prints those quality stats as emoji. So to get started, let's run it on a sample file. It's our sample. And we can see here the quality as emoji. This is the average quality across all the sequences in this file. And as you can see, the quality is quite good at the start of reads and tapers off towards the end. So that's how fast QE works. But the question you might be asking is, why does this program exist at all? So our story begins way back in PyCon Australia 2016. I was giving a talk called Python for Science Side Projects and Stuff, and I was in a parallel session. To the left of me, I had a bioinformatics talk, and to the right of me, a talk about Unicode, which involved a lot of emojis. Now, I was giving a talk. I wish I probably could have gone to the other talks, and by the end, maybe my audience might feel the same way. So since I was already a bioinformatician, my solution was to add a few slides at the end of my talk, combining all these things, side projects, bioinformatics, and emoji. I chose FastQ as the way to merge these things together to demonstrate this use of emoji in bioinformatics. Now FastQ files include nucleotide information and usually associated quality scores and those quality scores are encoded as in ASCII values. And the thing that I added to my talk was to say, well, rather than using ASCII values to encode those quality scores, why not use emoji? But since I went that far, I thought I may as well make something useful. So my last slide was a little Python script that would work out the average quality per base pair position and then print that as emoji as shown here in a Python notebook. And really that should have been the end of it. But I put the, put, I put the code on GitHub and people found it. They tend to find it once every few months. Somebody put it on Reddit, I started getting support requests. And so I had to take this script and turn it into something more useful. Now FastQE was written as a simple Python script. And fortunately, I also contributed to a project called BioInitio which is really good at taking throwaway code and turning it into a fully fledged program. That program is what you saw, see today and what I demonstrated before. So FastQE is available online. Uh, you can get it from PIP or Bioconda. The question you might be asking now is, that's how it exists, is it actually useful? I like to argue that it is. So one thing that it's been useful for is in education. Uh, Rachel St. Jacks, Ray Enke and others have been using it in an undergraduate course to much success and I'm really pleased that they've found this tool and written a little course around it and what they use it for is to introduce students to the command line and as you can see here you can easily visualize the effects of filtering low quality reads. Of course it's not perfect there are some issues and room for improvement the code definitely needs a cleanup uh, I'd like to add some test cases and continuous integration. Uh, and a fairly large problem at the moment is that the emoji display is a bit inconsistent. But by far the biggest problem with FastQE is its presentation-driven development. It's to about one feature a year. So we started with the script. A year later, we put in the minimum and maximum and got it ready for PyPy and installing via PIP. But then it took a whole year to actually get it onto PIP and Bioconda and a whole year later to get gzip support. And that didn't even make it into the Git repository because it's just me. FastQE has a bus factor of one. Uh, there's many more things it could be useful for, and I really do think it's a good idea, um, but me working on my own is the bottleneck. So hopefully during this talk, you've suspended your disbelief and you can think of a few more educational uses for FastQE. I really welcome future contributors and some collaboration on future directions for the project. Uh, to that end, to improve the bus factor, a few things I've done. We've just created a GitHub organization for FastQE and the repository is moving there. It's gonna have a code of conduct for contributors and one of the first tasks is to improve the documentation and gather some trading materials. Now, I did say it was a presentation-driven development, and this is a presentation, so I've added long read support. So in conclusion, FastQE is a tool for viewing sequence quality as emoji. Despite its throwaway beginnings, it's widely available and it works. So it's useful, I think, and I've got learning many new ideas and functions to add to it, and but really need future contributors to help me out. And you know what my solution is to a parallel session. So FastQE does work on Galaxy and getting this in the tool shed and working is something that I'd really like some help with as well. So if you're interested, please get in contact and otherwise uh, hope you enjoy FastQE. Thank you.